The PM approach to levelling is relatively straightforward. We write levelled books. We don't level books by comparing them to already published and level books. We begin with a set of criteria, which can be summarised into three fundamental elements. Prior knowledge is an important factor in making meaning from texts. The concepts chosen for all PM texts are relevant to the age and maturity of the students and their likely experiences with the world. At five years of age, students view themselves, their parents and siblings and their immediate environment in an egocentric way. Toys, play and make-believe allow them the freedom to explore their expanding world. By age six, students are beginning to understand the concepts of time, distance and place. Exploring new situations can present challenges. By the ages of seven and eight years, students are making huge strides in their experience, knowledge and reasoning powers. The concepts and themes in the PM's books, both fiction and non-fiction, match this growth and help it to flourish. Texts at levels 21 to 30 have reading ages ranging from 8 to 12 years. These texts are more demanding and match the students' growing maturity. They challenge the students to think beyond the text, encouraging them to explain generalisations and present their viewpoints. Contexts include narratives about competitive sports, social issues affecting the wider community, understanding consequences and accepting responsibility. Non-fiction texts reflect students' knowledge of the natural forces and technology and problems facing our environment and our wildlife today and in the future. Specific high-frequency words define each PM level. PM books are meticulously leveled using a gentle gradient of vocabulary introduction. Deliberate consolidation of small sets of high-frequency words in books at the same level is a key feature of the PM books. Each PM level introduces a new set of high-frequency words and reinforces words from the previous two levels. Reading most words, that is, 19 out of every 20, without difficulty, increases a learner's reading speed and reading mileage, giving the child more practice in less time, as well as building confidence. Levels 1 and 2 books introduce the 30 most commonly used high-frequency words in repetitive sentences. These words are embedded within the levels 3 to 5 PM books, giving young learners confidence as they read books with true story structure. A new high-frequency word is often positioned within a sentence where the context brings out the full meaning. For example, the word come it has relatively low imagery, but it has to be mastered at levels three and four if a child is to move on to level five. For example, here comes tiger in level three, tiger, tiger book. Mum, mum, here I come, level four, Sam's race. When used in just the right place, the word becomes memorable. Visually confusing words are introduced at different levels. For example, we've introduced saw at level 9 and was at level 13. But is introduced at level 9 and put at level 12. 
This allows the young reader time to practice and consolidate one word within meaningful contexts before being introduced to the other. At levels 15 to 20, many irregular high frequency words are introduced and practiced in a variety of situations in PM books. These words include difficult contractions such as mustn't, there, and I've. Past tenses such as caught, thought, heard, and the prefixes and suffixes such as anywhere, anything, excitement. These words are essential for both reading and writing. By the end of level 22, the 600 or so most common words that dominate written English have been introduced in the PM books and should be known by sight. In the PM texts at levels 21 to 30, many multisyllable words as well as technical vocabulary of non-fiction texts have been included to challenge students' knowledge of word meanings use of decoding strategies, and ability to process text efficiently. More sophisticated use of action verbs, adverbs, and adjectives convey imagery in all narratives. Children must have control of language construction orally before being asked to cope with it in print. The PM author team is sensitive to the difficulties young children have understanding more complex oral constructions. In particular, with their ability to manage two or more adjacent adjectives, coping with negatives, with less usual tenses, with inversions of normal word order, with the addition of several phrases, with the position of adverbs and adverbial phrases, and the introduction of extra clauses. All PM books are written in a clear, plain style. Sentences have controllable structures and are ordered in ways that enhance comprehension Growing sentence lengths are the result of and an indicator of the growing complexity of sentence structures. Sentences in the early levels, that is 1 to 14, are short and simple. The constructions are practiced often in many books at each level. Sentences begin to lengthen with the addition of adverbial phrases and the use of the first conjunction AND to join two simple clauses. Longer, more complicated sentences that convey cause and effect are included at level 12. At levels 15 to 20, there is a growing complexity of sentence structures. Sentence construction is partly influenced by vocabulary. The conjunctions and relative pronouns because, when, who, which, as, if and although are now more commonly used within both fiction and non-fiction texts. Students also need to know the relevance of punctuation to improve their fluency and to drive meaning. The content information in non-fiction sentences presents the reader with an additional challenge. Language structure in levels 21 to 30 books become more complex as sentences grow in length with the inclusion of two or three clauses as well as adverbial phrases. Inverted sentences add another challenge. A considerable amount of information has to be held in the student's head before they reach the end of long sentences 
and grasp the full meaning. Multisyllable technical vocabulary in non-fiction texts demands shorter sentences to maintain accuracy in levelling. The PM levelling criteria provides a reliable and consistent progression of difficulty. One of the most important things we do in levelling a PM is to read the text aloud either to other authors in the room, or these days we even do it over Skype. The question is always, does the structure flow naturally? This ensures that after all the fine detail has been taken care of, the text is still worth reading.